Just wanted to jump on here quickly to talk about this because I had a conversation with my with my wife this morning in bed and and we're talking about this new we're talking about this new um, couples group that I'm going to be doing in a month and and we're like and I already have a bunch of calls booked for it and pe- and and so I mentioned to my wife you know oh I have all these calls booked already and she's like how many of them are women and I said all of them <laughs> And she's like, yeah, that, that figures. And I was like, yeah, you know, and I just start, got to thinking like, what is it about guys that we can't ask for help? And we think that there's, you know, we, I think that oftentimes we secretly want it. We want some connection. We know we want some, we want something to change in our lives, but like, it's so hard for us to get over the hump. And I, and we laughed about how, like, even you know, two years ago, I've mentioned in, in some other posts and things like two years ago, my wife and I were on this brink of divorce, right? And it was a really dark time. And I was feeling we were, it was awful. And I want nothing more than to keep my family together. I want nothing more than to not damage my children. I want nothing more than to stay married to my wife. I love her. And yet we were in this really, 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 really bad place. And, and I'm a therapist right? I, I'm a trained therapist. I've been in the work for years. I've done personal work. I've a spiritual practitioner. Like I've done so much more work than the average person, even maybe if particularly the average woman, but, you know, forget those, you know, that, that doesn't matter. But the point is, is that I'm trying to make is that in that moment when the push came to shove and she's like, I'm calling your mentor. I already have a mentor. I mean, how many guys even have mentors? So like, but like, She's like, I'm calling him. And and in that moment, I was no. I got angry and I told her to stop. And what was underneath that, what was underneath that, I, I insisted that she not call him. And what was underneath that was embarrassment. I was embarrassed. I was embarrassed. And very close to that is I was ashamed. And even though everything in my life was about to fall apart. Everything that was most valuable to me was about to fall apart. I was embarrassed and I tried to insist that she not call him and she insisted otherwise. And I'm so grateful that she did. And so I'm starting to think that maybe we just need to embrace this as like, it's okay. It's so normal that women will reach out and bring men to these types of situations, to this type of work. But guys, you got to listen at some point. It's worth it. You know, when, when, when we finally got through, when I finally got over that obstacle and got into, you know, his office and started talking and actually got the tools that he could give me to be able to move my marriage forward, to heal, to, save, save our family togetherness and all these things that were so important to me, but I could not reach out for when I was in that crippled moment, you know, but my wife could. And here's something that is really interesting to kind of normalize this for you guys and for you ladies as well, is that granted, I don't want to make over generalizations or non-useful stereotypes. That's not what this is about. But if we look at some of the bio, the biological evolution is that when we're in an upset mode, when we are, when our, when our survival brain is activated, we go into fight, flight, or freeze. When we are angry, afraid, or depressed, shut down, isolated, numb, when we are in any of these states, that means that according to our brain, that the brain thinks there's a threat. There's a threat to our life. Men are designed to stay upset until the threat is eliminated. Women are designed to be able to let that upset down so that they can still be able to nurture the children. And I'm not talking about gender roles. I'm talking about chemistry here because women's breast milk will not come down if they are upset, they need to be able to get back to a place where they can connect with the children and have that bond. And while the man is out designed, eliminating the threat. So 
that's great when when there's a woolly mammoth outside your tent and the woman still needs to breastfeed while the guy is out there with his spear. But when it comes to marriage and relationship in modern life, it absolutely doesn't work. So I'm sitting there still staying upset, still saying, still staying crippled. I'm angry. I'm afraid. And then I shut down because those are the options when when there's a threat, fight, flight or freeze. But my wife is able to reach out and say, hey, we need help. She's able to connect because she's got that chemistry. And it's easier for her chemistry to do that than it is for my chemistry to do that, which is not to say we should take this information and use that as an excuse, fellas, to not reach out or to put it on our wives and make them responsible to do that for us. But it is a way to kind of normalize and understand that dynamic. So again, even when, even as a therapist, even as a spiritual practitioner, even as an open-minded, open-hearted, progressive man, when the shit was hitting the fan in my marriage and everything was falling apart, I was embarrassed and ashamed to reach out. That's freeze. And my wife did. And it saved us. And I'm so grateful. Love you all. Have a great day.